Over the last two years, I've been honing a skill that I use almost on a daily basis, the art of holding people's attention. Many of the most powerful and successful people in the world understand this, that attention is the new form of currency in this digital era. And I have to be honest with you, as an introvert, this concept scared me a little. After all, I'm not really someone who enjoys the spotlight on me, but I do see the advantages of it. In fact, putting out these videos on the internet for everybody to see has to be one of the most difficult things that I had to do in my life, but I'm so glad that I got started. So in in today's video, I'll be sharing three simple hacks that you can use in order to help you keep people's attention and why you can benefit from it. So let's get this started. Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Christian. I'm a certified occupational therapist and I help people live independent and fulfilling lives. On this channel, we discuss real life lessons that can help you level up in the game of life. Here's an important concept you need to understand. People don't really care about what you have to say unless it benefits them. And just to give you an example, I work in the hospital in the medical field and oftentimes it's relatively easy to keep people's attention because they're really incentivized to do so. Number one, I have something of value to give. I can help them. They're probably at the hospital because they're hurt. They need my help. And number two, they don't really have a lot of choices in terms of actual people that can help them once they're at the hospital. Like I'm right there already. So you probably want to accept my help. But it's a whole different story when it comes to putting content out, you know, information on the internet. Because for one, you're not really sure what kind of value I can give. And number two, you probably have millions of other videos you can click on down there below or somewhere over there. Of course, don't click on. I still have something of value to give. But because of that, whenever you get bored, you can easily just click away. So it's extremely difficult to hold people's attention on the internet. So over the last two years of practicing this skill, I've came up with three different areas to focus on. The first is the ability to hook and capture people's attention. Second, the ability to retain and maintain people's attention. And third, the ability to reward people for the attention that you receive. Now these three things can be applied to any different area of your life. It doesn't just have to be content on the internet. If you're able to capture people's attention with what you're saying, able to maintain maintain that attention, and lastly, able to reward people for that attention, they're always going to be coming back to you and you'll make sure that they're always paying attention to you. And this can be extremely powerful because if people are willing to listen to you, that's going to give you a lot more reputation, a lot more expertise in whatever you're trying to teach. And of course, that's going to bring a lot of opportunities, whether it's going to be on your career, whether you're sharing something online, it can always benefit you if you train this skill. And that's what I realized what the most powerful and successful people do. So let's start off with the first one, which which is the hook, the ability to capture people's attention. In our world right now, everybody's attention is constantly being tugged at. I mean, we have our phones, we are constantly scrolling, there's television, there's video games, there's just so many shiny things in the world that to get someone to pay attention to you in the very first place can be extremely challenging unless you apply the concept of a hook. A hook, you can think about it as the first impression of something, right? If you don't really have a good first impression, then nobody's really going to pay attention to it. For example, you can make a video that's going to be extremely be packed with information, there's really, really good stuff in it. But if that first few seconds don't really capture your attention, then nobody's really going to actually even bother trying to do so in the first place. So the hook is extremely important. So let's go ahead and take this video for example. The hook. Why did you click on this video in the first place? Was it the thumbnail? Was it the title which actually told you what exactly I'm going to be sharing in this video? And maybe for the first few seconds of the video, I made it certain why this skill is so important to have, right? To retain people's attention. So the hook, you can really think about it as the first impression when someone actually starts to actually pay attention to you, what are they getting at? Why are they even curious about listening to what you have to say? And to give you a real life scenario, when I'm working with my patients, whenever I'm meeting someone new, I make it certain to them that they understand what is it I'm trying to do with them. If I go in as an occupational therapist in the rehab department, right, whenever I'm seeing a patient, I'm like, hi, my name is Christian. I'm an occupational therapist. This is what I'm here to help you with. And this is what we're going to do. So now I immediately capture their attention. I hook them into it to pay attention because now they know what they can gain and what they can benefit from listening to me. So that there is the power of a hook. Extremely important not just to make these videos online, but for everyday real life scenarios to get people to actually listen to what you have to say. So moving on to the second one is to retain people's attention. Now, once you capture people's attention, the challenging part is keeping their attention because people get bored extremely quickly. There are many, many ways to retain it. I know when it comes to video content, there's all this editing and stuff. That's not really my forte. My forte is how you communicate with people. And what I understand for many, many people is that the way that you communicate, the simpler you can make it and the easier you can break things down, the better your ability to retain people's attention. For example, in this video, I made sure that you understood there are going to be three main points, three things that you can do, hook, retain, and reward that you will gain from this, right? So once you understood that I already talked about a hook, 
you are now expecting me to teach you on retaining people's attention, right? So I already organized that structure so you know how to follow things out. But if I didn't make it clear to you that there were three main points in this video, then you'll kind of be finishing the hook. You're like, is it worth it to stay along? You know, is it going to be actually worth my time to continue learning from this guy? Maybe I can just click off because I'm getting bored already. But because you know that there's more points in the video, hopefully you're sticking through because you're trying to learn the next thing. So the way that you organize stuff, you want to kind of front load people, right? Let them know like, hey, there are three main points right here. After we go through this, we're going to go through this, then we're going to go through this. So it helps people retain their attention. And of course, you want to make sure you're structuring things out. You're not dragging things on. Anything that you share to someone has to support your initial hook, right? What did I promise to you? If I promise you that I'll teach you three things on keeping people's attention, then as I'm sharing the points, they better go ahead and follow that path right there. So that's how you retain people's attention by following up on your hook. So again, when it comes to real life scenarios, again, if I told my patients like, hey, these are the three things we're going to do, then I better as heck do those three things, right? So I'm making sure that I'm following through with my promise. Now, if you're enjoying the video up to this point, go ahead and smash the like button and better yet, leave a comment down below on what you did enjoy, what else you want to learn. All this really gives me good information on what I should be sharing with my audience, what else I should research on. So I hope you enjoyed the video up to this point. Now, back to the video. All right, so we're finally at the third hack, which is on rewarding your audience. Now, you were already able to capture people's attention through a great hook, able to retain their attention by organizing your content, organizing that information so it's easy to follow. And lastly, at number three is on rewarding your audience. You want to make sure that whenever someone is paying attention to you, they are rewarded for their time from it. Because if you don't reward them accordingly, guess what? The next time, they're simply just not going to pay any attention to you. I mean, if I went to work on a patient and they paid all this attention to me and I gave them really, really crappy advice, I really gave them crappy treatments, then the next time, they're not even going to bother paying attention to me. Where else, if I delivered on my promise, if I rewarded them for the attention they paid, they got great, great care, you know, I paid really great attention to them, I really helped them out, then the next time, they're more compelled to pay attention to me. And taking this video as an example again, I wanted to make sure that because on the hook, I promised you that you'll learn three hacks in keeping people's attention, I delivered on it that was going to be on the hook on retaining and rewarding your audiences. Because hopefully at this point, you feel rewarded, you feel that the time that you spent watching this video was worth it, that you actually learned something. So the next time that I put something out, you would be more compelled to pay attention to what I'm saying. But maybe if I didn't reward you enough, and of course not everybody is going to like this video, right? Then the next time that my video pops up, you know, you're not really going to care about what I have to say. So that means whenever you're doing anything in life, if you're trying to, you know, hold people's attention, get their attention, you want to make sure that if they are listening to you, how is it benefiting them? You want to think about them. And if you're able to have this mindset, then keeping people's attention is going to be a piece of cake in the future. Now, I do have to point out, however, that not many people are going to see why it's so important to keep people's attention. But you see, in the digital era right now, if you're able to hold people's attention, it's going to bring many, many opportunities to you. I mean, we see this with celebrities. We see this with really successful companies like Apple and Amazon. If you have people's attention, if you can help them solve a problem and you can make it certain that you're going to constantly reward them, right? They're going to keep coming back for it. So if you're sharing information on the internet, you need to also make sure that you're able to hold their attention and bring them all the way through to the reward. And if you're able to keep this cycle of constantly hooking their attention, retaining their attention, and then rewarding their attention, then they're constantly going to come back for more and more and more. And that's going to give you really, really great opportunities. It's really out of the scope of this video to actually share those opportunities. Maybe a video in the future if you guys are interested in that. But I hope this video helps you out out there. That's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to smash the like button and go ahead and check out this video over here where I shared another one of my skills that I highly, highly value, which is the whole concept of leverage. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys again very soon. Take care. Peace.